Hello and welcome and today the topic of discussion is Tower of Hanoi and we'll discuss the procedure of Tower of Hanoi. Tower of Hanoi is a problem where we need to solve such problem. So let's see what the problem is. So problem is in front of you. I'll not read all those things. You can see the problem that there are three poles. Fine. There are three poles and there are disc. Uh, right now we have only three disc which are arranged in such a manner that the biggest disc is at bottom and the smallest disc is on the top. That is from increasing to decreasing order from top to bottom fine from increasing uh, from increasing to decreasing uh, from decreasing to increasing order fine okay now now the thing is this with the help of pole 2 you have to place the same arrangement that is same as it is the biggest then the smaller the smaller and then the smallest fine the same arrangement using the help of pole 2 you have to place the same in pole 3 it doesn't means that you take all the disk from at one go and place it like that it doesn't means like that there are few constraints one for constraint is that you have to move one disk at a time that is you cannot move more than one disk at a time fine and you cannot place a smaller disk you cannot place bigger disk on smaller disk you either you can place the smaller disk on upper disk but you cannot place bigger disk on the smaller disk fine so these are two constraints which you need to follow that is one disk movement at a time fine and second no smaller this bigger disk can be on can be on up of uh, smaller disk fine no bigger disk can be on up of uh, smaller disk fine so this is what you have to keep in mind while solving this problem now Either you can take the help of pole 2 and place it pole 3 or you can take the help of pole 3 you can place in pole 2. So it, it's up to you. It doesn't mean that you have to put in pole 3 only. You can take the help of any pole and put in in the final. So now we are considering that we are putting the entire arrangement in pole 3 with the help of pole 2. So what we'll do? We'll place first first uh, disk in pole 3. Fine. This is the first step. Then what we'll do in second step, what we'll do in second step, we are coming, we'll take this disk, second number of disk and we'll place here. So this is the second step. In third step, what we'll do, we'll place this smaller disk on uh, this uh, pole 2. Fine. So it's still it is fine. Not an issue. We can place a smaller disk on up of uh, bigger disk. Fine. Then what we'll do, we'll place this to this to this here. here. So what actually we are doing, we are placing here fine so this is our uh, this is first step second third fourth and now this is the fifth step in fifth step what we are doing we are placing this disk over here fine so this is the fifth step now in sixth step which is missing over here in sixth step we'll do we'll place this disk over here that is in sixth step we'll placing the disk at pole 2 in pole 3 at pole 3 and then finally we'll put this disk over here fine so finally we'll get the same arrangement so how many steps we are taking to solve this problem total seven steps we are taking seven steps to solve this problem so why seven why not eight why not six why not five so i'll i'll give you the very uh, correct answer and the formula also if you see this uh, animated uh, graph you no know, if you see this animated picture you will come to know that how these steps are taking and you can see that we are you know using this step in step 7 we are finally solving this is done till so what are number of steps the formula is 2 to the power n minus 1 so where n is number of disk so if there are three three disk so it will take total 2 to the power 3 minus 1 that is 7 if there are four disk it will take 2 to the power 4 minus 1 that is 15 if there are 10 disk it will take 2 to the power 10 minus 1 that is what 1023 1023 movements fine so it will take 1023 movements and it will solve like this so you have to keep this formula in your mind because it's very important formula generally asked in many of the competitions now now comes now the step to be followed are now very important what are the different steps which needs to be followed in order to solve in order to solve a uh, tower of Hanoi problem so this is the, the this is the step this is the recursive step the recursive step says that first step move n minus one disk n minus one disk doesn't mean that i have to move n minus one disk i'll i'll tell you what what i'm trying only one disk can be moved at a time which you have to keep in mind but it's a step of recursion move n minus one disk from beginning to auxiliary what is beginning what is auxiliary so let me there are three poles that is suppose there are pole a pole b and pole c the starting pole is called beginning the middle pole is called auxiliary and the end pole is called last pole is called end fine so move n minus disk from beginning to auxiliary move one disk from beginning to end move n minus one disk from auxiliary to end you have to keep this in mind while solving the problem so let's start with the formula so what we have to do suppose we have to solve three disk problem we have three disk initial pole is a 
मिडिल पोलिस बी एंड द लास्ट पोलिस सी सो वट वट इज द फॉर्मुला फॉर दिस इट विल ब्रेक इन टू थ्री पार्ट ना दैट इज मूव एन माइनस वन डेज दैट इज थ्री माइनस वन दैट इज टू फ्रॉम बिगिनिंग टू ऑक्सलरी वॉट इज बिगनिंग एंड वॉट इज ऑक्सलरी बी सो फ्रॉम बिगनिंग दैट इज ए टू ऑक्सलरी दैट इज बी एंड फ्रॉम बिगनिंग टू ऑक्सलरी एंड वॉट इज लेफ्ट सी इज लेफ्ट पुट सी इन मिडल फाइन देन मूव वॉट वन डिस्क पुट वन from beginning what is beginning a to end what is end c this is end fine and what is left whatever is left left put in middle then move n minus 1 disc what is n minus 1 3 minus 1 2 from from auxiliary what is auxiliary b to end what is end c what is left a put a i'll i'll give you i'll give you the solution fine again this will break into three parts fine using this above using the above same formula you have to use now you have to keep in mind that now this is beginning this is auxiliary and this is end this is beginning this is auxiliary and this is end beginning auxiliary and fine so now move n minus 1 disc so 2 minus 1 is 1 from beginning what is beginning a to auxiliary what is auxiliary c what is left b put here then move one disc that is i'll put t move one disc one disc from move one disc from beginning to end what is beginning a what is end b from beginning to end what is left c put here fine move what n move n minus 1 disc what is n minus 1 2 minus 1 what is 2 minus 1 1 from auxiliary what is auxiliary c to end what is b from c to b what is left a put here fine you uh, now now there is only one disc you can only you know a function can only be break uh, break to number of other function if the value is greater than 1 since the value is 1 i'll not break it i'll keep it like this fine i'll keep it like this now again this function this function will be break into three parts fine How, what is that formula again now here we have beginning this is auxiliary this is middle fine uh, this is auxiliary and this is end fine so move n minus 1 disc that is n n 2 minus 1 1 from beginning beginning what is beginning b to auxiliary what is auxiliary a what is left left to c put c here fine now move one disc one disc from beginning to end what is beginning b what is end c what is left a put here move n minus 1 disc that is 1 from from where auxiliary to end what is auxiliary a what is end c what is left b put here fine okay now when there is only one disc now if, if i am giving you this is a tower of hanoi now i am giving you a, a uh, i am asking you a question if there is a tower of hanoi having three poles poles a poles b poles c and you have and now suppose you have i am taking this color now and suppose you have only one disc so how many step you will take from uh, no starting to end are you mad that you will put first here and then you will put here no you will not do like this you will not simply you what if there is only one disc you will move from starting to end if your target is to move from starting to end you will simply move from starting to end fine so this will uh, be the step so now if there is only one disc what will you will do you will simply move from starting to end what is start a what is end c so you have to move from first step is a to c fine second step is a to b a to b third step is from c to b from c to b third step is uh, fourth step is from a what is and c a to c a to c fifth step is here from b to a from b to a sixth step is from b to c from b to c now seventh step is from a to c seven step is from a to c now you might be confused what i am dealing with no so now i am explaining you what i am actually doing what am i trying to do is see this what am i trying to do is this there are three disc fine one disc second disc third disc first step says move from a to c so i'll move this disc from a to c that is from a to c it will come here smaller one fine this is first step done second step a to b now the middle one will come from a to b here fine okay so this is also done third from c to b from c to b that is from c to b that is smallest disk from c to b it can be done yes a smaller can come up of bigger disk fine so c to b then from a to c from a to c the largest will come from a to c from a to c it will come here fine okay so a to c is also done then b to a so this is now uh, from a to c from b to a b to smaller one will come this is the smallest the smallest will come here from b to a so we'll remove from here so done from b to c 
this this can become up yes this is the middle one it can come from b to c so from b to c fine so this is now from a to c now from a to c now you can see we have solved so we have using these seven step that is step number one step number two step number three then four then five six and seven we have solved the problem of tar of hanoi we have solved the problem of tar of hanoi and so you can see the formula so this is the formula and this is the recursive steps so the formula is again remember the formula is move n minus one disk from beginning to auxiliary move one disk from beginning to end move n minus one disk from auxiliary to end n minus one doesn't means that you are moving and total n minus one disk you are breaking the formula unless and until you are getting a one disk see in in the at, at last step we are having all what one disk fine so if there is one disk will simply move from beginning to end fine so this was all about uh, algorithm and procedure of tower of hanoi so after that we'll list we'll see the program of tower of hanoi so i request you if you are to 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 see the second video kindly make the concept very clear